One of the most exciting findings in the 2008 uh, presidential election, this was conducted in uh, 08 in the Pennsylvania Democratic primary. And this test was run by the Analyst Institute and a professor, David Nickerson, over at um, Notre Dame. So we took Pennsylvania and a variety of targets in Pennsylvania. We randomly sampled a group of them to be in the untreated control group. They did not receive a phone call from us. Second group was randomly sampled from our target population, and they received a standard GOTV call. We've all made these. Hi, tomorrow's election day. Please don't forget to vote. Your vote is very important to us. Another group uh, of randomly sampled voters got a self-prediction call. Same message, tomorrow's election day, your vote is important. And they were asked, do you intend to vote? Finally, the last group received a plan-making GOTV call. Again, a reminder, again, do you intend to vote? But they were also asked these three questions. Um, when will you vote? Morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, how will you get there? Will you be driving? Will you be walking? Will you be taking public transportation? Where will you be beforehand? You're coming from school, your home, or your work. So the key about a randomized controlled experiment is that each of these groups of individuals were randomly pulled from the target population. What that means is that these groups are comparable across observable and unobservable characteristics. Any difference in turnout between these groups is only due to the treatment, only due to each specific call. And we have an untreated control group um, so that we know what the general population rate would have turned out at. Turned out that the standard GOTV call did not show an increase in turnout over the control group. Receiving that call didn't have any greater effect than not receiving a call at all. The self-prediction group it increased their turnout over the control group by 2%. And 2% is huge in a state like Pennsylvania, especially during the primaries. Um, but the plan making call doubled the effect of the self prediction call simply by asking them those three questions at the end. And we didn't even care about the answer. We didn't record that they said they'd go in the morning or where they were coming from. I mean, frankly, we don't care how they're getting there. Um, but we walked through the plan making process with them. And because of that, it doubled the effect of the self prediction call. And remember, as, as you brought up, um, this was in the Pennsylvania primary, the presidential primary. They were getting a ton of calls. This call alone boosted those individuals' turnout by this much.